Let's go to Charleston and talk to... Is there a song called Ellen? No? I've never heard of a song with the main character, Ellen. You should get on that, Ben. All right, what's up, Ellen? Oh, I guess I got to push the button and welcome you back. Hey, what's up, Ellen? <laughs> Hi, Dr. Deloney. Hey, uh, uh, Kelly's rolling her eyes. She's like, wow, how long have we done this show? Three years, <laughs> and you don't have to work this computer. Good to talk to you, Ellen. What's up? Um, well, so my husband and I have found ourselves in sort of pickle. Um, so I love pickles. Long- all right. Uh, long story short, a uh, couple of years ago, well, 2021, we decided to uh, sell our house. And at the time, we had a one-year-old. We were taking care of my husband's grandmother, who was 90. And we were working full-time jobs in the healthcare field around COVID. Um, full background. <laughs> Can I say something husband- mean? Your life yes. sucked in 21. <laughs> Good uh, yeah. gosh. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, and on top of that, my husband, he, um, does have a little OCD anxiety working in the healthcare field with germs, just sort of sent that in overdrive. Um, so with especially a newborn at the time, we, uh, pretty much just sort of shut down our lives. Um, so during that time we sort of just became exiled. We're just working jobs, taking care of our baby and, um, taking care of his grandmother. So anyways, we decided to sell our house and at that time his parents wanted to downsize. So we said we would buy their home from them. They would live with us for about a year till they found some place to live and then they would go their separate way and we would oh, no. have ours. I can yes. already tell. Are they still there? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> so, oh no. So you bought their house? Yes. And they were going to leave, quote unquote, later? Yes. Oh, Ellen. <laughs> oh, Ellen. Hey, <laughs> man, I don't smoke. I just don't. But <laughs> I want to have a cigarette right now. Like yeah. right now. So, hey, have you got to see ringside seat where your husband's ADHD and OCD emerged from? Um. Well, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're so kind and loving. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Anyways, so, yep, so that's sort of where we found ourselves. So now we're in the situation that my husband has just sort of gotten to the end of his line that he's like, okay, I can't live with my parents anymore. Um, so the situation we're in right now is we can buy another home and keep the current home and his parents would like rent from us in essence. Or we could sell the home and buy a larger home. So the home we could afford right now would would be fine, but in a couple of years we would want to upgrade to another home. So Ellen, essence, Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. Yes. Yeah. Y'all are gonna spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to avoid a conversation. Yes. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. And by okay. the way, this is not your conversation to have. This is your husband needs to be a grown up. And within the next week, set up a meeting with your mom, with his mom and dad to arrange an exit strategy for them. An exit strategy is y'all have 90 days. Yeah. This is not your problem to solve. I hate that. And, and normally, I, you, you've, if you've ever listened to the show, I always tell y'all are in this thing together. And this, is y'all's, this is your husband's conversation to have with his parents. This is a matter of integrity. Mm-hmm. They need to leave your house. Within 90 days. You will never be able to sleep. Yeah. Not yourself. And both literally and metaphorically with your husband. If he spends $500,000 running away from a hard conversation with his mommy and his daddy. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know how you could possibly respect him if he does that. And I think the problem, like, so I come from a family that, like, I don't know, if you have a problem, you just sort of speak your mind. It might piss them off for a second or two, but we, in essence, respect each other. You know why? Because you're an adult. (laughs) (laughs) You came from a grown-up family. Way to go, (laughs) Ellen. Yeah. Hey, there, and, listen, listen, there is no, um, I, 
I only because I've I've sat with medical professionals and gotten the same diagnostics your husband has. There's not an excuse. I don't care. Yeah. I know, like, in that family, we just don't have... You do now. Because <laughs> you're in my home with my child, with my family. It's time. Yeah. And I guess we we have had to have... Or tried to have those conversations with his mom, especially um, his dad. It's, it's not really his stepdad because when his mom remarried, my husband is already an adult. But we'll say it's stepdad. You know, they he calls him dad. Um, but they don't have that relationship. That that, like, actually, that actually makes it easier. Okay. This is a transaction. So I feel like, ever, like said, we've said, hey, we just want to know what are your guys' nope. game plans? Nope. You know it? what their game plan nope. is? Nothing. Why would they leave? They have everything. <laughs> they live in y'all's so house. Y'all pay the bills. Just make it a business transaction. This is the deal. You have 90 days. And you're, you got to find something. It's a, uh, it's a little more delicate, but it would be your husband, yes. not you, <laughs> because you add some complexity to it. Okay. I wish that wasn't the case, but you do. Your husband takes his mom and his stepdad ish sort of dad or guy that remarried when he was an adult, but he calls dad. Yeah. That honestly, <laughs> not, this is a tangent that tells me what I need to know about your husband. He's so uncomfortable with any sort of relational discomfort, period. He's willing to call a guy that he didn't meet until he was out of the house who married his mom, dad. Yeah. That's all I need to, you know what I'm saying? That's not, that's odd. Like that's out of a Will Ferrell movie. Like brothers got a hug, right? That I mean, it's like. But here we are. That's what I need to know about your husband, okay? He needs to take mm -hmm. both of those adults out and say, y'all have been with us for two years. We bought your house from you with a plan that y'all were going to stay with us for a while and you're going to find your place. It's time for me and my family to establish our own roots in our own home. And that is where he'll normally go, so what are y'all thinking? What are your plans? They're not thinking anything other than they've got it made in the shade. Yeah. So... Mom, by March 1, we're going to have to ask you to move out and find your own place. Me and my family need our own home. Period. End of story. Oh, you're just throwing us out? No, 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 no. If that's how you want to hear it, you're welcome to do that. You're an adult. But no, we agreed when we bought your house, you're going to stay with us for a little while. It's been two years. And then, mm -hmm. as I learned after many years working with attorneys, there is power in the pause. I'm not going to seek to fill that angsty silence or discomfort. I'm going to state my boundaries very clearly. And uh -huh. with love and dignity and respect, y'all have to leave my house now. And I can tell by your silence, there's no way this conversation is happening, is there? Um, I think my husband is to the point that he is desperate for anything. Okay. I know he knows it's difficult, but I think he's willing to do what's going to be best long term. Okay. You are not wimping out and you are not making him quote unquote carry the burden by himself by you not going to this meeting. It's appropriate for you to not be there. Uh huh. Okay. I think you have significant input on the front end of the conversation. Now, do you all get free babysitting and stuff like that? His mother is our child care. Okay. Y'all are going to have to deal with that. Yeah. Because she might say, screw you guys then. I'm going home. Or he might say, I need y'all to move out. We need our own place. Mom, I would still like to hire you to be our child care person. Yeah. Have all have him map all that out. Y'all two map all that out together. But remember, she's an adult and she gets to do whatever she wants. She gets it's her life. And if she wants to yeah. throw a temper tantrum and walk away from her grandkids and her son and his his great wife, that will suck, but she gets to do that. 
if she recognizes, yeah, we need to leave. This is, you're right. The, and she wants to stay, and it works out great. She wants to stay a child care provider. Awesome. But here's what's happening very quickly, and it's not fair to mom or to new dad. Y'all are growing to resent them. Yeah. When they call, when they walk in, when the car pulls up, you're growing to really be disgusted by them. And I don't think that's their fault. Should they have left by now? Yes. They're not. And so you can't, in one hand, put out your hand to have somebody shake it and then be grossed out or disgusted or angry when they shake it back. Mm -hmm. It's your job to not extend your hand anymore. And so I'd much rather preserve the relationship with my mom and my new dad, even if it's, when it's uncomfortable, instead of being angry or resentful every time they call or show up to the place, quite frankly, yeah. I invited them to live. It makes sense. <laughs> I know it's not easy, though. Can I high five you from Nashville? I know this, this just <laughs> sucks for you. And I, I'm tell, I'll just reiterate this again. If you all go spend hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to avoid this, this season, you're going to lose a lot of respect for your husband and you're going to feel pretty isolated and on your own. Well, that was my argument. I felt like we were just running and not solving any issue. You are a wise, uh, wise woman. <laughs> so I mean I but I mean from his perspective he's like I just need some time to think nope. and he would but I don't think that's really going to solve it. There's it's nothing just, to think about. How long has it been? 2 years. Yeah. 2 years. Ta-da. Ta-da. 2 years. There's nothing else to think about. That's just a that's, a, that's an avoidance strategy. That's punting on second down. There's no reason to do it. There's no reason to do it. Just delaying the inevitable. This is his conversation to have with his mother and his dad. And you and your husband come up with the terms of this thing. Here's how much you got 90 days. You got six months. I don't care what the date is, but it has to be a firm date that y'all communicate to them. Possibly in writing. I don't know if they're renting the house from you, but y'all can decide that. But there needs to be, it needs to be unambiguous. Everybody needs to be clear. As we say around here where I work, clear is kind. And expect some frustration, some sad, some what? Of course, they've, they've grown accustomed to living in your life, and y'all have become their entertainment. Y'all have become their Insta family. Y'all are their source of, like, shelter, probably food. And it's time for you and your husband to grow up on your own and get your own place. And if your husband's struggling with OCD and ADHD, it's his job to go get the help he needs. I know because I've been there. That's his job. What a mess. Do me a favor. Call me after this conversation because I'm interested to know how it goes. And we'll put you back on the air. Or if he wants to call and practice the call or whatever, I'm happy to talk to him too. But I'm interested to hear how this goes. And for everybody listening out there, it always sounds like a good idea. Y'all just move in, quote unquote, for a while. Whether you're adults with adult kids or vice versa. You're adult kids and you're like, oh, y'all just, mom and dad, y'all just move in for a while. Mom, just move in for a while. You can live in the basement for a while. Always have a date on there. Always. You can revisit the date, but always have some clarity. Otherwise, it gets into this swampy mess and everybody comes out smelling like swamp gas. And unless you're Kelly, ugh, that's gross. She's kind of into it. It's just a thing.